thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Part 2 of the workbook. And today we will be beginning Section 7, What is the Holy Spirit? I'm going to go back to the old format because honestly I'm not feeling well. So I'm going to read the entire section of What is the Holy Spirit today and then I'll read the commentary each day with a lesson because I'm... That's how I'm going to do it this time. <laughs> what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth. As he must bridge the gap between reality and dreams, perception leads to knowledge through the gate grace that God has given him to be his gift to everyone who turns to him for truth. Across the bridge that he provides are dreams all carried to the truth to be dispelled before the light of knowledge. There are sights and sounds forever laid aside, and where they were perceived before, forgiveness had made possible perception's tranquil end. The goal the Holy Spirit's teaching sets is just this end of dreams, for sights and sounds must be translated from the witnesses of fear to those of love. And when this is entirely accomplished, learning has achieved the only goal it has in truth. For learning, as the Holy Spirit guides it to the outcome he perceives for it, becomes the means to go beyond itself to be replaced by the eternal truth. If you but knew how much your Father yearns to have you recognize your sinlessness, he would not let his voice appeal in vain, nor turn away from his replacement for the fearful images and dreams you made. Footnote 88. His replacement refers to the real world. See Workbook Lesson 289. God's own replacement, a present world in which sights and sounds have been translated from the witnesses of fear to those of love. The Holy Spirit understands the means you made by which you would attain what is forever unattainable. And if you offer them to Him, He will employ the means you made for exile to restore your mind to where it is truly, where it truly is at home. From knowledge where he has been placed by God, the Holy Spirit calls to you to let forgiveness rest upon your dreams, to be restored to sanity and peace of mind. Without forgiveness will all your dreams remain to terrify you, and the memory of all your Father's love will not return to signify the end of dreams has come. Accept your Father's gift. It is a call from love to love, that it be but itself. The Holy Spirit is His gift by which the quietness of heaven is restored to God's beloved Son. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God when all He wills is that you be complete? Thank you so much for joining with me for Section 7 of Part 2 of the Workbook for Students of A Course in Miracles, What is the Holy Spirit? Please read this section in its entirety each day or listen to this YouTube video if you can stand it. <laughs> and I will read the commentary each day with the lesson. Thank you. Thank you for joining with me. I love you.